Is my immunity waning? Doctors advise Pfizer vaccine recipients not to worry while getting two doses of vaccine creates a strong immune response that reduces the risk of severe disease by more than 90%. The protection against milder and asymptomatic infections drops off gradually. That's why Pfizer has asked for and received U.S. Food and Drug Administration authorization to add boosters for many people who are six months out from vaccination. But should others be seeking boosters, too? How much should people be worrying? I think that we expect that immunity will slowly wane, over time, but it's not a reason for people to panic, said Dr. and Falsi a specialist in viral respiratory diseases at the University of Rochester School of Medicine. It's not like suddenly one day you're completely susceptible, like you were before you were vaccinated, added Falsi, who is helping lead clinical trials of COVID-19 vaccines that hasn't stopped Americans from flocking to get boosters. This past week more people were getting booster shots that were getting their first round of a coronavirus vaccine. By Friday, more than 7 million Americans had received either booster shots of the third round of vaccines authorized for people with immunocompromising conditions who likely did not get adequate responses to the first two shots. This week, two more studies added to the growing evidence that immunity from Pfizer's vaccine drops off. One study from Israel covered 4,800 health care workers and showed antibody levels weigh in rapidly after two doses of vaccine, especially among men among persons 65 years of age or older, and among persons with immunosuppression. A second study from Qatar showed protection from the Pfizer vaccine peaked in the first month after vaccination and then begins to wane. These findings suggest that a large proportion of the vaccinated population could lose its protection against infection in the coming months, perhaps increasing the potential for new epidemic waves the team wrote in a report published in the New England Journal of Medicine. How can protection wane against mild or asymptomatic infection while staying strong against severe disease? It's because the human immune system is complex. Antibodies form the first line of defense, stopping a virus from getting into some cells in the body. This is the protection that starts to wane off after time. So while people may be susceptible to mild illness after they've been vaccinated, they're much less likely to get really sick, end up in the hospital or die. But there's a lot of reasons people don't want to get sick. They don't want to pass it to loved ones. People don't want to pass it to young children that can't get vaccinated yet, Falsi said. The FDA is considering applications later this month from both Moderna and Johnson & Johnson to authorize booster doses of their vaccines. Dr. Anthony Falsi, director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, has said he thinks a third dose of vaccine will become part of the standard regimen for COVID-19. They just don't need to storm the pharmacies and panic. Everyone else should cool it for now. They just don't need to storm the pharmacies and panic falsely said. People should not go ahead and get booster doses if it hasn't been six months since their last dose of Pfizer vaccine, because they will not get the best immune response, falsely said in a White House briefing last month. There will be temptations, for example, for people who recently got vaccinated to not wait for the six-month period of time, Fawcy said. But waiting for several months after the initial immunization to boost helps produce a stronger response. Immune system cells that help restore waning immunity respond more robustly if they are allowed to go into a resting state after the first round of vaccination. That said, most people should eventually plan on getting boosters, Falsi said. While people who have recovered from an infection have some protection, they are even more protected if they get vaccinated, too. I think that, depending on your own natural immunity because you feel like you're a strong person is like playing Russian roulette, Falsi said. Even young, seemingly healthy people have become seriously ill from COVID-19 and have died from it. I would never depend only on my natural immunity to weather this virus. It's a very, very bad act, Falsi said. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.